So the Oculus Rift is one of the most talked about gadgets that's coming along the pipeline for gamers and it brings virtual reality to the masses. And what they're doing is working with developers first and the, the kit's going to be coming out, I think, in the March time frame. And we're going to give you a quick demo, but first we had a couple of questions. You know, so the Rift, you guys are trying to bring virtual reality gaming. Because a lot of people just have tried it on other platforms and they might not really know what it means, but this is really a truly immersive experience. So how did you guys pull this off and what are you looking to do with the product? Sure. So I think you know the key to great virtual reality, what we find is you need really low latency head tracking so that your view tracks with you all the time. Right. You need a super wide field of view because that's crucial to immersion, right? If right. you've ever tried uh, like the Sony HMZT1 or any of the ViewSix models, you, they have a relatively small field of view. Right. What we're going for is something where all you can see is the game, right? We don't want you to see the screen. We want you to be completely immersed. Right? Um, and then it's really just the content itself having a great games to match current right. hardware, right? Or any, any, any hardware device is really only good as the content it runs. Right. So, you know, we have a, a big background in uh, game development and game software, right. and we're hoping that game developers can come out and develop content yeah, for Rift, mm -hmm. uh, which is partially why we launched it on Kickstarter. Right. Um, and help us, you know, reboot VR and help us design games that are specifically for VR. Right. Um, so when you combine all that stuff, you get a pretty immersive experience in content that really feels right. So a lot of gamers today, they only say with PC games, like, well, it's already immersive, but right. is it a matter of just sort of like trying is believing? Or something seeing, like this? Seeing, we call it. Yeah. Seeing is believing. Right. Um, you know, a lot of people have done videos and, and interviews and whatnot with our team, and it, right. it's really hard to capture the experience unless you actually try on the headset yourself. Right. A lot of people come, they're like, you know, I've seen every headset out there. I'm a VR expert. I'm going to be your harshest critic, so let's see what you got. And you say, all right, set your expectations low. And they put it on, they take it off, and they say, it actually works. You guys are actually, you're delivering what, you know, it's not just smoke and mirrors. Right. And that's super important to us, you know. When we, uh, when we founded the company, when Palmer originally founded the company, right. his whole vision was to really take you know, gaming to the next level, really create that virtual reality device that we've always dreamed of, where you can actually jack into the matrix and, right. and, and be part of it. Um, and so that's what, that's what we're trying to do. So do you feel like you could revitalize PC gaming? I mean, which is not to say that it's fallen off a cliff or anything, right. but I feel like a lot of people who are into games try to go towards consoles or tablets or whatever. Do you think like the PC gaming market, more mainstream users might come back because of that, something like this? I, you know, it's impossible to say. Uh -huh. I, I certainly hope so. Yeah. I personally, and I think Palmer would agree, right. uh, we don't feel like PC gaming is dead by any means. We think a lot of the best content is coming out for PC. Right. Um, but, you know, with something like the Oculus Rift, it should, you know, I hope certainly it revitalizes. It gives some new life to the PC market. Right. You know, if the Oculus Rift is, you know, somewhat exclusive to the PC, and we're actually launching on mobile devices as well, but right. the high-end experience is on the PC. That does give people reasons to get a new PC, new graphics card, for new experiences. Right. Okay, so can we try it ourselves Absolutely. to see how it works? Yeah. Okay, great. I'm excited. So what we've got, this is just, um, you know, really uh, rough prototype hardware. This is a prototype of the developer kit. Okay. Um, what we've got over here is Unreal Engine 3. Uh, and so this is our integration with Unreal Engine 3. Our, our SDK integrated into Unreal Engine 3. So, when I give you this, just take the two hands, bring it up to your eyes. Right. It's sort of like binoculars. There's a sweet spot right in the center of the glasses. Okay. So just adjust it a little bit. Um, if you're looking at to get the angle. Spot. Yeah, exactly. Okay, great. Is he by the mark? No, he's not. Let me hang on one second. Close your eyes. Sure, I got it. Okay. It's all right. It's all right. Oh, it's no. Thanks. For a sec, the control needs to repair. Sorry. That's okay. Right. Each person, you know, kind of wanders in their own direction in the demo, so then we have to always <laughs> take them back to town. Yeah, no, it's right over there. Yeah. Yep. I know my way around town. Just go up next to those, uh, those guys. The fruit. No, 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 the guy. That guy right there. I like him. Okay, so. Okay. Take it with both hands, put it up to your eyes. Adjust a little bit. Is that pretty clear? Yeah, that's good. Okay, so. Now, before I give you the controller, I want you just to uh, look up, look down, look left, look right. Now, actually, turn your body around and look at me. Look behind you. So you can see the full, you know. Head track over there. Yeah. So you can actually see the guy behind me. It's pretty amazing. Exactly. 
Okay. So, now I'm going to give you a controller, alright? You can use the left stick to move um, and the right stick to uh, rotate. But before you take off too far, yep. first I want you to look at just the snow. Everything you're seeing is stereoscopic 3D, so the snow has a lot of uh, depth and character to it. Right. You also notice you're pretty tall oh. compared to these knights. You know, you're a bit of like a, uh, you know, you're the big knight in town, the big dog. Right. Um, but you, can, you notice that stuff in VR gaming. You notice your height and the scale of other objects. So now it's sort of like 3D done right. Right, exactly. <laughs> That's what we're going for, right? It's the true VR experience where you feel immersed. You know, if everything was small or not to scale, you wouldn't feel like you were actually coming in. Anyway, so you can feel free to walk around the village. Okay. What we're trying to show people with this demo is really where we are today with virtual reality. You know, what we like to say is that this is day zero VR. Um, it's not perfect yet. We've got a long way, uh, long way to go to making this a full on consumer product. You know, the, the head tracking speed in this is going to get better, the screen resolution is going to get better, the comfort, the weight, okay. but... So to a certain degree, if you if you do it right, you don't necessarily have to use the right thumbstick. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Okay. Wow. It's really amazing. So, you know, this is the beginning. And you guys are shipping this to developers in March? In March, and we hope, you know, the content starts to take off, we build some momentum, hopefully, and, you know, as soon as we get the hardware and the software right, we'll, uh, we'll launch the uh, consumer version. Wow. Well, we're really excited to check it out. This is awesome.